there Facebook, it is Vanessa here again, your motivational speaker, trainer and head coach from Live Love Give and today I've got a message for all of you personal development junkies out there who are just like me, who maybe need a little bit of a reminder or a little bit of a check-in um, to see as to why we are growing ourselves in the particular area that we are growing. So I really want to dive into this topic with you because it's something that has definitely been popping up in my life. And uh, um, I wanted to use a couple of examples as to how um, we can get really kind of caught up in this pattern where we're we love our personal growth and our development, um, but we end up focusing on where we like where's really comfortable to grow, like where we're really interested and we're kind of good at this thing or we really enjoy it, right? So it's it's really easy and we love growing ourselves in this arena versus the more uncomfortable potential area of growth, which isn't as interesting to us. And, um, and it's, it's not really what we want to be doing, but if we're super, super honest with ourselves, then we will realize that we absolutely need to be doing it. We need to be growing in this area. And so I wanted to, sorry, I always get so distracted when I do this. So I'm sorry about this, but I need to try and share this across. So, and I really want to dive in. So first of all, I want to talk to you about two different areas in which this is happening for me. So first one is, you guys have always been, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that I love, love, love Dr. John D. Martini. I even put a post out about him, uh, about one of the, one of the very, very many um, lessons that I have learnt um, from his incredible wisdom. And uh, just recently, um, you know, I was deciding, um, I thought, oh, you know what? D Martini, he's coming to Melbourne. I'm in Melbourne. His event's on. I want to go, right? So I was looking into it. I'm like, okay, this is awesome. I, I've never actually been to a self-development, um, you know, event in my hometown. So I was like, this is going to be so easy. I don't have to go and, you know, get any flights or book any accommodation or anything like that. And, um, and I was looking into it and, uh, it was all on the breakthrough experience. So the breakthrough experience, I won't go into the depth of it, but it's really, really fascinating stuff. It's a big piece of the work that I, um, that I use. And, uh, and I've read the book. That was my very first book, um, by Dr. John D. Martini was the breakthrough experience. Phenomenal, but I know it, right? I, and I, and I want to get to an event. So I know it even more deeply, you know, and I really want to immerse myself in that so that I can be of more service to others. Um, but what I found when I jumped on his website and I was looking at tickets was that there was this other event that he was holding um, and it was all around master planning your life. And I'm the first to admit that I don't like planning. I know the importance of it, but I have a really simple system that I use because I'm not a big long-term planner. It's, it's an area I know I need to develop more within myself, um, but my kind of like need for spontaneity and going with the flow and all of the, that sort of stuff can sometimes get in the way. You know, that's kind of fun going with the flow as opposed to planning out all the details, right? In my, from my perspective, other people get a lot from planning and they'll be jumping on that event, right? Um, but the other thing was, was this other event that like this, my, you know, my um, inner wisdom was kind of telling me, that's kind of the event that you would get a lot more from for you personally, as opposed to the breakthrough experience, which would be a lot of fun and you know it and it's great and um, you know, and you really enjoy that stuff. But what about master planning your life? And this event is three days, you take your laptop in and um, you're there from like 8 a.m. in the morning till 7 p.m. at night and you absolutely master plan. You go through 2,000 different questions to set up um, your life, you know, in seven areas of your life. And, um, you know, Di Martini is somebody who has a thousand year vision, you know, he has legacy, you know, he is a master planner, right? And, um, and so, okay, I was like, all right, it's a three day event. It's not in Melbourne, it's in Sydney. That's still not far away, but you know, I had to choose what was going to be 
best for me, what I really need, what I really need is to develop my skills and sit with the stuff that I don't necessarily enjoy. It's all going to be into, you know, financial planning and stuff as well. And it's not really like I'm, I'm very go with the flow and, you know, all of that sort of stuff. So I know I need that. You know, I know that that is going to be most helpful to my personal development. It's not going to be as fun as going and doing the breakthrough experience and, you know, um, and witnessing people break through emotionally and all that sort of stuff, which I'm so immersed in in my everyday life. Um, but it's definitely going to grow me and develop me in a whole new level and absolutely be able to serve at a higher level, you know, to really expand my wisdom, my knowledge, my experience so that I can be a better service to the world, right? So I made that decision and I'm doing that, right? So that's one example as to how, you know, instead of choosing where we kind of want to go, like where we, we're comfortable growing ourselves, sometimes we need to make that shift and go to what's more uncomfortable and, uh, and definitely for the purposes of expanding our potential, reaching that new level. And another area where this is playing out in my life is in my training. What's super, super comfortable to me is getting to the gym, creating my own training program, lifting really heavy. Um, that's easy for me. That's comfortable for me. But you guys know if you've been following me through the last week, I'm addicted to F45 classes right now. And I don't see how I could do that in conjunction with my gym right now because my body is super, super sore and it's a full body workout. And honestly, it pushes you to your limits. So for me personally, that's the kind of training I need to be focusing on for myself because I wouldn't push myself to that limit by myself in the gym. You know, it's it's easy and comfortable to lift heavy and have some breaks and, and go back and lift heavy and stuff like that. That's easy. But pushing yourself to the point of like nearly throwing up, you know, or, you know, you're just so sore and you just got to push out that last bit. And there's somebody there like pushing you to go and go and you're in a group and you've got the energy, you know, um, that's that's what I need, you know, and, and it's good. I'm actually really enjoying it. And that's what you will find. What you will find is that the pathway of personal development that is comfortable and easy and that you want to do because you love, it's so interesting to you um, uh, versus that other path, you know, that's more uncomfortable and you know you need to do it but you just like you don't really want to you want to do this other fun thing that you know over here or maybe that you're good at instead of this area where you know you really need because you struggle in that area um, you'll actually find that when you move in the direction of what you really need as an individual as opposed to just what you want you'll actually start to really enjoy it you'll flourish you'll grow 10 times more by focusing on the uncomfortable than staying in your little comfort zone even if it is personal development. So um, that's really what I wanted to just, you know, share with you guys today in the hope that it'll get you a little bit pushing outside your current comfort zone and uh, and not get stuck in if you're somebody who loves reading the next book, you know, and you've got a billion books, you know, and that's what you do and you, you, you're constantly reading all these things. Well, that might be really good, but how about let's challenge you? How about that's comfortable? How about let's get you to an event where you have to put yourself out there and you have to do the work, you have to take the action, you know, or vice versa, whatever it is, we've got to, to focus on what's uncomfortable and potentially an area of our life because we have a tendency of focusing our, you know, full focus on that area of our life that's going really well. You know, because it feels good. We feel successful, you know, so we want to keep going there. But then we kind of avoid the other area of life that we're just like, oh, that's too scary. I have no answers there. Uh, doesn't make me feel good. Makes me feel like a failure. I'm just going to avoid that, right? So, and then we just keep growing in this one area, but we're not becoming full rounded out human beings and we're not being honest with ourselves because if we're all honest with ourselves, we know that there's this area of growth that we definitely put off wherever we can but we do know deep down that if we actually put in some time and effort and focus there 
it would greatly help us support us in reaching a new level of our potential and definitely having a lot more freedom you know when we grow those areas that we struggle in we gain freedom we gain our confidence and courage and momentum to get to that next level so I really want to encourage you guys to do what I'm doing and uh, and definitely start growing in the areas you most need as opposed to where you really want and you have fun and uh, just as a quick side note um, you know uh, you guys who have been following me for a while you know that back in March of this year I interviewed the incredible Dr. John D. Martini um, and uh, I'm going to his event and I am setting up a time right now with his team um, to hopefully be able to interview him again and dive into a new piece of his incredible wealth of wisdom um, so I would love to hear from you guys if you are familiar with Dr. John D. Martini's work and you have any particular questions that are just you'd love for me to ask him for you um, or if you don't know who he is and you want to spend it between now and the beginning of February when the event is um, you know researching some of his work and if any questions pop up please let me know shoot them through to me and I would be happy to ask on your behalf um, when I get to interview him again he's an incredible human being so I definitely want to check in with you guys and as I do every single day just so that I can make sure nobody's slipping through the cracks I want to make sure that all of you guys are a part of the incredible community the limitless potential inner circle Facebook community where you will be surrounded by beautiful brilliant like minds who are absolutely growing they're inspiring they're having some breakthroughs they're doing some great stuff and they want to support encourage and challenge you to do just that as well and get to a new level of your potential so make sure that you click on the link above request to join I'll approve you and it'll be awesome we'll go deep in that community and uh, let's check in so I've got Jace and Jim and Moises and Fazia and Judy and uh, hello to you Moises and uh, Stephen and Max and Marlon and Charlie top of the morning <laughs> I love it and uh, Ricky and um, oh I can't say your name um, but how many books do you read per week um, that's a great question um, I don't read I don't go like speed reading I'm somebody who goes pretty deep on any particular topic that's really really fascinating and really really challenging at any particular time um, so it varies a lot so I've got a lot of books and I'm a very I do like to buy a lot of books so I've got a pile that I haven't got through particularly yet but I'm really really focused right now on consciousness the concept of consciousness and um, and open-mindedness and expanding our consciousness Consciousness so that you know humanity is is on this evolving scale so at the moment I'm really diving into the work of Sam Harris um, you can check out his work the best way um, to do that would be on his podcast waking up with Sam Harris Wow is he a, um, just has some phenomenal people that he interviews he's a wealth of knowledge all around neuroscience um, you know the theory of consciousness all of that stuff so didn't really answer your question but like it depends it really does vary and um, I don't I don't read multiple books every single week I like to go really deep on one particular topic and um, and really take it all in I when I read when I really want to learn something I'm writing notes I'm taking notes because active like for me personally I need to be active in my approach to my learning so Hope that was valuable to you and uh, Sergio's here and West awesome to see you and Jeannie and uh, uh, why don't I try a TED talk I'd, I'd love that I'd absolutely love it I love TED talks and uh, Adrian and Michael um, yes well hope you catch the recording if you weren't sure what I was talking about today and definitely get some value from today's message and Philip and Alexandra and Tommy um, and I love that you're watching from Washington Alexandria that's awesome and Stuart and uh, awesome following from Libya I wish I could say your name and say hi um, but I appreciate you being here and uh, Tim good on you Vanessa stepping out of your comfort zone again choosing the master planning course good to push yourself to a new level by the way I joined the limitless potential inner circle group this week 
awesome, Tim. And thank you so much for your encouragement there. And um, I love that you're a part of the group. That's awesome. And uh, if there is anything that our group can be, you know, really supporting you on, keeping you accountable to, if you need any sort of, you want new perspectives on different things, make sure that you are making the most of that community. We would love to go deeper with you in there. And thanks for being a part of the community, Tim. You're awesome. And Alonia's here and Ellie, awesome. And Jessica. And uh, Tim, you're watching from Adelaide. Awesome. I love it. And uh, Filippo and Jared. Awesome. And Jeannie. So true. When you make a commitment to grow, you need to step out of the circle of life. Um, growth happens when you get uncomfortable. Exactly. And that's why we can so unconsciously as, um, you know, people who love personal development, we can so get stuck in our little comfort zones and we, we're not even aware of it because we think we're into self-development. So of course we're growing all the time and getting uncomfortable, but are you really? You know, and um, and I challenge you to really, you know, you might want to, I might even do a training for you guys in terms of just Probably after I do the D-Martini, let me do it for you after I do the D-Martini course. I, I love, you know, simplifying things and systemizing them and sharing them with you guys so that you can fast track your success. I'm not going to dive into that. I'm going to learn a new layer from that event and I'm definitely going to share with you how you can get clarity over the different areas of your life and identify where, you know, making it measurable so we can see, ah, that's probably where I need to focus. Don't really want to, but I'm going to have to, you know, because, you know, you're not, you're not really up there with that one. Whereas, you know, that might be your finances are kind of like a two out of 10, as opposed to your, you know, your health. It's like up there at a nine, you know, whatever it is. So um, I'll definitely be sharing, as you guys know, whenever I do a new event or anything, um, so thanks Jeannie and Jolene's here and Ray and Harry and Haru. Keep it up and definitely don't let up. Love it. And uh, peace. Morning, Vanessa. Morning to you. And uh, Brenton's here and Moises. Have a great day. Um, love to, oh, and I love you being here, Moises, and wishing you a great day too. And Jeremy, pain plus reflection equals growth. Yeah, boom. I like that. I love that actually, Jeremy. Yeah, definitely. You know, our pain often is one of the greatest motivators for us to get into reflection and go, hang on, this is painful. What's going on? Let's reflect. And definitely, I'd say even plus a little bit of action and change is definitely going to enter into that growth. So I love that, Jeremy. Thanks so much for sharing. And uh, Kadabi, um, thanks for being here. And Jacob, um, what do you think we should do by spreading the understanding of our mutual affiliation? Uh, I don't really know what you're talking about there. Let me just clear my mind again. What do you think we should do by spreading the understanding of our mutual affiliation? I'm sorry, Jacob. I absolutely am lost. I might have had a brain freeze. I might not be understanding you very well, but if you could explain it in a little bit of a clear away or, or whatever, maybe I'll pick it up after. I have no idea, but let me know because I really want to um, add some value to you there and answer your question there, Jacob. And you're welcome, Moises and Hazel and Lucy's here. Awesome. I love it. Um, so really, that is my message for you, um, guys. I really want you to make sure that you are most definitely being truthfully and honest, honest with yourself about maybe Maybe I'm just focused on this area of growth that feels comfortable and feels good and I really like it, but I'm, I really need to be focusing over here and um, I really need to be pushing myself out of the comfort zone of my personal growth. You know, just because it's personal growth doesn't mean that it's challenging enough to get you to your next level of your potential and we need to become whole rounded out individuals. I'm, I'm a big believer also in doubling down on our strengths, you know, but not at the expense of the, the work that we need to do that's limiting our potential, that's holding us back because we're avoiding it. Um, awesome. And uh, Jolanta's here and Shashank. And uh, thank you for your compliment there, Moises. I'm just about to hit 
another F45 class. Yes, I better go. Um, but I'm loving it and um, it's good, good fun. And um, I hope you guys will all try it out and let me know what you think as well. I am um, going to sign off now. So I'm absolutely sending you guys, as always, all of my love, light, blessings, gratitude, energy, enthusiasm, everything extraordinary coming to you to wherever you are in the world today. I hope it's beautiful and amazing and extraordinary, just like you. And um, I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow. So thank you so much for being here and I'll see you then.